Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. Well, oh, you probably noticed some key differences on my channel today. I just got a bigger review table. We're reviewing on my channel, so this is an update to my review channel as of this year. And we'll be using this table more and more this year. We got some random stuff we're gonna be showing off. Gonna do the random stuff first, and then we're gonna look at Tomoro Shigaraki from My Hero Academia 2016. We're gonna review our figures. First on the list, we got this pirate doll bootleg. I know nothing about this figure, but it's so cool looking and pretty fun looking. Has some articulation, because it is an action figure. Nice. Head is not on a ball joint. You get some movement out of his head. And he looks pretty gruesome looking, if I do say so myself. We got another freebie I got. This is the little mouse hero. Yeah. I think it's a little mouse hero mask figure. Pull it off and you see his face. Well, rabbit hero. Pull off his heroic mask. Get a little bunny rabbit. Put it back on. He's super bunny. And I couldn't help that remark. Well, this is something I got way while back for free as well. You press the button, and he lights, and the car lights up and rolls on its own. I love this toy. But yeah, it will continue to roll until I turn it off. So yeah, a fun toy, if I do say so myself. Nothing's better than free, right? Especially when it's coming to these vehicles, huh? Next on the list, we got a little wind-up baseball player. I don't usually collect sports, but I do collect wind-up toys. Wind him up. And he's walking. The baseball player's walking. Pretty impressive table. For what I got it for for free, so it's a better show off of this space. We got another wind-up toy. Given Halloween's the next couple weeks away, I'm doing a lot of scary figures here. This guy is a wind-up skeleton. So the trick is going to be winding him up. Yeah, he does. He's supposed to wind up and walk, but I think he's broken. Still a cool wind-up skeleton. Going on my random shelf, for sure. Next, we got these figures, which appear to be Barbie bootlegs. So, yeah, they might be McDonald's bootleg Barbies. So, yeah. This one is an action figure that does have articulation in the legs. So, yeah, some articulation on this one. So, I'd have to say, pretty good. I got that for by the Pound of Goodwill outlet, and this... I got for free. Next on the list, we got this astronaut, this uh, diver boy. This uh, diver boy, I don't know much about him, but he is an action figure, and I got him from the Goodwill outlet for Buy the Pound. Got that pirate for 25 cents. Not bad, right? Another Barbie knockoff, I got at the Goodwill outlet. The only reason I like these is because they're action figures. I don't really care about anything but action figures. If it's an action figure that looks good, I like it. This thing is supposed to light up, but I think the batteries died in it. Really good little crystal doll, manner of speaking. Pretty cool. Next, we got this uh, Rainbow High doll cheerleader. The only reason I got her, she's got, like, anime-style eyes, and that's what I dig about her. Bend at the knees. Pretty good articulation. 
articulated hands and elbows, so pretty good for an action figure doll. I wouldn't usually collect this kind of stuff unless it looks cool and it has articulation. Why well, pick this stuff up? The other thing I got from the Goodwill outlet, this is got to be a bootleg Barbie, if I had to say. She's got bend at the knees, no elbow, not much elbows, but still pretty good looking. Like those fox hunter people she is like. So, she will be going on the random shelf for sure. Next, we got this figure. Might be from a Disney line. But she is an articulated action figure. So I dig her. And she's got those anime style eyes almost. So that's pretty cute about her. And I like some cute figures. Next on the list, we got this Hot Wheels. It reminds me of the Batmobile, and I love some Batmobiles. Next on the list, we got my first ever Wizard of Oz toy. And it's Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz. Pretty cool, right? Next, we got this guy. I think he's from a cartoon or a video game. First time I ever saw this guy was Enter the Grid was a stickbot series. But he is pretty cool looking, if I do say so myself. Next, we got these plastic astronauts. Yeah, I picked these up because they look cool and they're astronauts. Why not? Dare I say why not? Never go wrong with some astronauts in the house. Speaking of space stuff, this was something I got for free. And I put my Ryan's World astronaut. I'm not a big fan of Ryan's World, but I think the astronaut suit is pretty cool. So it goes well with this vehicle. And it makes noise and it rolls. Why not? It is just so cool. And this is going in my random collection. For sure. But you want to probably get down to anime week. So let's get down to it. First on the list, we got some Pokemon. This is from, I think, Pokemon black and white. I don't know its name. If you know this figure's name and would like to leave a comment on it, I would appreciate it if I could ever get the comment section working. But this thing is a Pokemon novelty I just couldn't believe, and it's from 2000. A really old Pokemon toy. And this is just like the phone that Ash used to call his mother and Professor Oak on. So a nice little representation of that. And this Pikachu on the screen is cool too. You press the button here. And you get this. It changes. Three times. Yeah, there's one. Where's Angry Pikachu? Come on, Angry Pikachu. Oh yeah, Angry Pikachu. Love this. Going on my shelf for sure. Next on the list, we are going to look at our last figure, and this I got for my birthday, and I had to get it. It is Tomoro Shigaraki. I've been wanting this guy for My Hero Academia for a long time. And yeah, he is one of the most terrifying villains I own, next to Joker, Two-Face. He is even more scarier than the Joker. Give him that. He's got bend at the knee ankle tilt at the feet, which is pretty good. Ankle tilt, very good. No ball joints on the legs. Head does move. I'm afraid to break it, so I'm not going to move it much. He comes with alternative hands, but I'd rather not put them on, afraid of breaking them. But like all of the My Hero Academia figures I bought from McFarlane, and this is from 2016, we can put Yuri on his stand and get him in a pose on his stand. If I can get him to peg in. Come on, Yuri, peg in. And there we go. There we got Yuri Shigaraki of the League of Villains. Looking all intimidating, right? Love that. Now we're going to get down to some comparisons with some other figures from the My Hero Academia series. I'm going to go get him, and I'll be back. Oh. 
Okay, we're back with the comparisons now. We're going to get a group shot of how many My Academias I own after we show off all the comparisons. Here is All Might, who fought Yuri Shigaraki from the League of Villains. If I can get him to stand up on his own two feet. Sometimes he can doesn't want to stand. So There's that comparison. Ida. Not a bad comparison. Uda Raka from My Hero. I liked her. She is just so cute, and I own two of her. My only other villain comparison is the 5 inch stain. Why not? I want to get the bigger one, too. Oh, Deku's head popped off, so we are going to. Next to Deku. If I can get his head to stay on. We got Deku. Why not? They fought each other. Red Riot, another classmate of UA. Todoroki, because he's Todoroki, man. The Loyal Subjects Todoroki and Mini Might. What I call a Mini Might, because he's a small version of All Might. Udaraka, which I have two of her. And we got Sue, or Asui, if you want to be Pacific. Yep. But now we're going to do a group shot of how many My Hero Academia figures we own this year from big to small. Deku makes... Of the deluxes we own, we own four. If I can get Deku to stand properly. Deku. Udaraka. If I can get her to stand. Come on, girl. Stand. <laughs> Sorry. She wants to tip over quite a bit. My custom cape. All might. I had to own one with a cape. So, that was a custom job I did at my special needs camp. So, that's four deluxes. Five inch. Todoroki. Red Riot. Stain, they make seven. Make seven. Todoroki, I don't have Endeavor. So that makes eight. Loyal Subjects, All Might. Loyal Subjects, Uraraka. Subjects, Todoroki. Loyal Subjects, Sue. And in total, how many My Hero Academias from 2016 we own this year... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of My Hero Academia figures we own this year. Will I try to pick up any more? Yes, it is a fun line to collect, and I like the hero anime, My Hero Academia. If you love superheroes, then pick these guys up. They are a lot of cool looking figures and they are fun from 2016 so these figures came out a long time ago and i love the design of these figures why well, i will continue to pick more of these up and review them but next month we, we will be reviewing my hero not my hero academia but anime heroes sakura stay tuned for that but before we end this video this is what we're going to be reviewing Next week is Transformers Titans Return Hot Rod. The best version of Hot Rod I've ever had. So the, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video as I enjoyed making it and showing off some epic random figures and My Hero Academia anime toys and Pokemon. So make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.